And now we move on to the expansion pack, Firestorm. Welcome to 2034. The fate of the world depends on GDI's attempts to reverse the damage done by Tiberium. Mr. We couldn't afford to get his actor back so we put him in a robe, reveals that despite his best efforts, his serum has failed. Umagon has gone mad and he is no closer to finding a way of reversing Tiberium exposure. At his request, the Tacitus is recovered from Kane's temple, and the Kodiak is assigned to transport this artifact to his possession. Well, shit. We move in to recollect the Tacitus and rescue any survivors, but are hounded by Nod stragglers. They seem as largely confused as we are, with a full APC surfacing in the middle of a hostile mutant settlement that are none too happy to see them. Pushing eastwards, we find the crashed Kodiak. Whoa, this thing is a lot bigger than it looked in the previous game. I suppose the extra time they had let them properly represent its scale. We grab the Tacitus and evac before more Nod forces can rally against us. The next mission has us overseeing the evacuation of a civilian center that is under attack by mutated wildlife, whilst at the same time protecting our base. The attacks include fiends, visceroids, and some sort of jellyfish looking thing called a floater. Where in the hell are they all coming from? After a holdout that takes way too fucking long, reinforcements finally arrive and we are relieved. We did it, Patrick! We saved the city! However, more trouble is afoot elsewhere. Tratos has been assassinated. I'm dead! And a local city center has fallen to riots that threaten to damage vital GDI logistics centers. We deploy with a squad of riot troopers and an EMP tank. The tank is basically useless, ignore it. We'll just rush the troopers into each of these regions held by both sides of the riots and take out their leaders. Can't we all just get along? With the human plot device now dead, GDI has no hope of decoding the Tacitus themselves before the atmosphere becomes completely toxic. Actually, Paul, I have an idea. You're not gonna like it. Cabal. Are you out of your fucking mind? This mission is just a big fun battle. We get to build up an army and smash a base. There are two bridges in either corner of the map that bring in endless enemy reinforcements, so by destroying these we can make our lives a little easier. As our titan wave washes over the base, we push up towards the core and secure it with an engineer. Now back online and reconnected to the Tacitus, Cabal reveals the reason why GDI has been unable to decipher it. It is incomplete. Part of the artifact is currently in the hands of a mad cult in South America. Welcome to the worst level of the expansion, save scum heavy and janky script heavier. This whole level is an overplayed Indiana Jones reference and includes wonderful things such as units that fail the mission when lost, units that don't fail the mission when lost but are vital to completing the mission, temples that do wacky shit like summon lightning, enemies that are needlessly tanky and hidden from view, and so much more. I can't even enjoy the new unit, the Juggernaut. GDI finally gets its own artillery unit, and all it does during this mission is shoot at vein holes so it can follow us. The hieroglyphics on this temple read... Hieroglyphics? This is South America, not fucking Egypt! Towards the end, we enter the cult's compound. We have to leave Ghost Dogger behind because the cultists are huge racists. We locate and kill the cult leader with artillery, which causes all of his followers to join him by fellating their own guns. Um, what happened to the Dixie Cup? Finally, we've got the Tacitus chunk and we escape. With the final segment of the Tacitus in his possession, Cabal reveals his true colors. A sort of light blue. He goes full Terminator on us, forcing us to evacuate to a nearby GDI base and hold off his forces. Wait, what the fuck? Why is there a Nod base here? Right next to the top secret fucking GDI research lab. How do you miss this? Once again, this mission regresses to Titan spam, but we get to make some use of the Juggernaut here. Yet, uh. It sucks. Initiate culling procedures. Organisms deemed weak are to be terminated. Remaining humans are to be secured for processing at my cybernetic facilities. Well, shit. Now we have an omnicidal AI on the loose. Uh oh. Paul has taken prisoners? 
This can't be good. We slowly sneak our way past Cabal's collection teams and alert settlements to the impending cyborg apocalypse. Each settlement gives us some supplies and a couple of units as thanks. What the? Cabal is one sick bastard. Once we reach the city, the mayor gives us an MCV for our troubles. Now, the game heavily suggests we move back into the old base to retake and rebuild it. Nah, fuck that, we're gonna build in the city. The bridges give us an easy way to isolate ourselves from Cabal's forces, and the excess blue tip here will finance our operations. We'll also loot the shit out of the city. These trucks are carrying money and we need it. I mean, it's not theft if we're the good guys, right? GDI and Nod are both suffering at the hands of Cabal, and thus a temporary alliance is agreed upon. GDI will strike Cabal's cyborg production plants, while Nod will shut down his Tiberium harvesting operations. To achieve this, GDI steals a cyborg and jacks him up with loads of Chinese malware. After we move our initial forces around behind them and penetrate this forward base's defenses, we get our BP boy into position and the virus does its work. Now we can set up a base, and you know where this is going. Beep beep! Out of my way, yeah, boo! Oh god! You'd think this would get boring, but somehow it never does. It's showtime, Commander. Showtime! Your main objective is the destruction of Cabal's core. This is it. The final mission. This level's opening tests everything we've learned from the new units. From using an EMP to disable some cyborgs, to using juggernauts to take out some artillery, and so on. Our objective here is to capture three relay stations to shut down Cabal's defenses before then moving in to take out his core. As we build up our base, we are constantly hounded by artillery strikes, cyborg attacks, and missile barrages. Well, first things first, we've got to stop those missiles. We're not going to bother capturing them. We don't have time. Next is the airbase. We're gonna break out the mammoth for this one. Conveniently on the way to the airbase is most of Cabal's harvesting sites, meaning we can completely shut down his unit production. The Mark II makes short work of the area, and we even capture a Nod construction yard here, granting us access to stealth generators. We're, uh, gonna want those. Please remain calm. Do not look at the giant robot. This is the toughest unit in the entire game, with a health pool that dwarfs the mammoth, and armed with two rapid-fire obelisks. Door stuck! Door stuck! Get bent, weirdo. And with the core defeated, the world is saved from becoming Quake 2. Additionally, GDI is free to pilfer Cabal's databanks for the Tacitus translation, coming up with several new and novel ways to counter the growth of Tiberium, leading to the later reclamation of so-called Blue Zones. The future is starting to look bright. <laughs> Following Kane's second death, Slavik is faced with an ever-fracturing brotherhood. He decides that the best course of action would be to recover and reactivate Cabal. This would turn out to be a bad idea. A small team of his loyalists are assembled to infiltrate a GEI excavation site and recollect the core fragments. It's a sneaky mission with limited forces. There really isn't a lot to talk about. Initiate your reactivation sequence. General Slavic, you have survived and still command. Kane was correct about you. The newly awoken Cabal gives us Kane's final order prior to his disappearance to study the new Tiberian life growing in a region known as the Genesis Pit. Jump in the pit! A team of chemical troopers are put at our disposal, which we'll use to persuade the locals to venture into the pit and lure out the wildlife. 
I am afraid the effects of the serum are quite... permanent. We carefully maneuver our team using APCs, finding more and more civilians to persuade while avoiding GDI's patrols. The creatures then move on, destroying the settlements and eventually attacking a GDI base. Huh. Deja vu. The next assignment our robotic buddy gives us is the assassination of the only other living being capable of translating the Tacitus. Tratos. In the name of King, of course. This mission introduces us to the Limpet Drone. Take a nice long look at them, because this is the last time you'll ever see them. Honestly, they are beyond useless. Once deployed, they stick to a vehicle that passes over them, slowing them down and revealing the surrounding area. That's it. Yeah, totally worth the same price as a tick tank, right? So we smuggle our forces past this checkpoint. How oh, fuck. So we smash our forces through this checkpoint and begin using limpets to map out the GDI base. This involved a lot of sneaky fuckery, but eventually the defenses are downed and we can transport our team in to gun him down like the filthy mutant he is. The rest of the inner circle are not pleased with Slavic reactivating Cabal and are actually pretty pissed about the assassination. This leads to Slavic threatening Cabal. Cabal, you serve. Communications are not at optimal conditions due to increased ion particle activity within the lower atmosphere. Recover the Tacitus from the mutants. I will not be denied. How many Tacitus, uh, Tacitai are there? Yay, another kill mutant base mission. Except this time we get to use Nod units instead of stolen GDI ones. That means it's cyborg spam time. They have an abnormal number of salvaged mammoth tanks in this mission, and actually make use of a couple of neat ambushes to catch us off guard. Hell, they even throw a couple of ghost stalkers at us. Ugh, just don't be an idiot like me and sneak a stealth tank in, because the second you detect the truck carrying the Tacitus, it becomes active as one of your units, and thus the mutants then move to destroy it. So instead, after swamping them with cyborgs, we snatch the truck and wipe out the remaining mutant menace. With the Tacitus in his possession, as well as the missing segment now recovered by GDI, Gabal reveals he no longer needs the Black Hand, and overrides their cyborgs to execute each of its members. Slavic, a total badass, doesn't use cyborgs, and so he is spared this fate. Our forces make a daring escape from Cabal's clutches, capturing an old relay station to radio in the rescue beetle. This mission is over in like a minute. Man, without Cabal, who the hell's gonna tell me I need more silos? And so we go to steal an EVA unit. This mission introduces us to the mobile stealth generator, a deployable unit that creates a small region of cloak. It's uh, pretty useful. We locate the GDI radar station containing the EVA unit, and use our stealth tanks to distract the air forces in the base. Uh, just gonna land there? Okay. While they are busy, we send our engineers in to capture the station and steal the unit. Wow, it's hard to believe this level gave me so much grief as a kid. The hacked EVA unit now enables us to organize some resistance. A strike force is then sent to destroy Cabal's core. In this mission, a pair of bridges can be repaired to provide us with infinite reinforcements. Huh. Deja vu. First things first, we'll use this Devil's Tongue to get across the water. From here, we can spot and target some missile silos. Stealing them will get us access to missile strikes, which would be helpful. Well, there goes that idea. Now we make our push using a wave of tick tanks, mostly sourced from those reinforcement lines. We roll over everything, spot Cabal's core and... Fuck! So we have to capture this radar station, for some reason. After doing so, Cabal mocks us and escapes before shelling the area with multiple rockets. What an asshole! GDI and Nod are both suffering at the hands of Cabal, and thus a temporary alliance to deal with the problem is agreed upon. GDI will strike at- wait, I've already said this. Time to hunt some fucking harvesters! 
This mission takes the most boring situation in the game and builds an entire level from it. We start off with the new Fist of Nod, a mobile war factory. Very useful. First things first, we're going to defend this position with a mobile stealth generator and an artillery battery. We've got to be careful with our funding, as we only have a limited amount. During this mission, a nearby village comes under attack and the Brotherhood, true defenders of the people, move in to save them. This gets us some additional funding to build our army with. Now we just rally our forces to destroy the two bases Cabal has in the region. And then spend way too long trying to find all the fucking harvesters. You will destroy Cabal's core. All of Nod is at your disposal. Deactivate his defenses, defeat his children, and smash that machine into junk. Welcome to Nod's perspective on the core attack. In this mission, we get our hands on the Elite Kadra, the Black Hand's private infantry. While they are a cool concept, they are no match for the cyborgs they are meant to replace. It wouldn't be until later titles that the Black Hand's own military forces got intimidating. The Black Hand awaits. I will leave it a ruin. I'm gonna be straight with you. We're gonna cheese the shit out of this mission. You see, Cabal has surrounded his core in an impenetrable defense grid, but has made one fatal mistake. The Firestorm defenses can't block fire. And when the Gundam wakes up, the flame tanks simply dip under the ground for a moment to avoid it. See you later, nerd! So the Defender, deeply confused, now begins its long march towards our base. It won't realize our plans until it's too late. Mission accomplished. Nod wins yet again, thanks to superior mobility and sneak attacks. A positive side effect of Cabal's attempted takeover was the assassination of the other Inner Circle members, thus leaving Slavic as the one undisputed leader of the Brotherhood. But deep within a hidden bunker, a fragmented Cabal laments its failures, revealing itself to be none other than Cain himself. And you can't kill the Messiah. My money, my vision has permutated. My, my, my plans have followed a path unpredicted by the union of Nod and GDI. Your, my, our, our directives must be reassessed. Oh God, we're at fast, you asshole! I didn't say it's fast. You rage and butt plug. I can't move my camera. Wait, yes, I can. I just turns out I'm at the <laughs> lowest end of the court. Of the, of the map. I can't move. He <laughs> says walking into a wall. Oh, Even to wipe the scout with infantry. Yeah. <laughs> scout. <laughs> well, I mean, we're in like tier one, right? Yeah. What else are we supposed to scout with? Cyborgs. <laughs> What's the matter? Can't shout to the moon. Sending the wacky wave of the flame. Oh god, no! Yes! Hunter Seekers! Yeah, that's that's an engineer rush, that's an engineer rush! Alright, you, you win the Hunter No! They just they just sold like most of my base. They're good. they're trying it again, they're trying it again. Ah I wonder what I'm gonna lose. Probably my repair bay. Yep. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, I just love the sound of you had lost and. <laughs> oh god, they're again. They're at it again. They're at it again. They're back in the bull bullshit. Oh god. Oh thank god. There's no. There's no engineers in the group. <laughs> I... Thunder. Oh. You killed. You killed your own harvester with the laser grid. Oh. My harvesters! Those fuckers! It's alright, Kiwi. I'm sending, I'm sending over the king, the king of the wheelchair brigade to help you. Look at how fast he's rowing on land. Wait, Wait you need more RPG turns. I just built that one! Thunder, your rocket infantry just broke White's wall. What? I was trying to kill the devil tongue. My wall! <laughs> I needed that! <laughs> why, did the, why did they do that? Vandalism! This. Oh, that is a sheep bastard! 
you have a maximum boy. Oh god, you do have a maximum boy. The, no, that did not just happen. The, the Hunter Seeker appeared out of nothing and get the mammoth. Who wants that Hunter Seeker? I'm still on cooldown. I, I mean, I, I I launched one. Why did it attack your guy? It hit the, it hit the infantry the mammoth was next to and killed the mammoth. For fuck's sake. Are you just selling their entire base? No, he's not selling their entire base. Are you building a base over their base? Um, I think you're moving your infantry into chemicals. Yes. It'll be funny. That is World War II has shown the best counter for artillery is a fuck ton of units with Uzis. I'm feeling command and conquerable. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a carryall here? It's one of yes, ours. Sir. I can't destroy it. They're, they just I have cannon my war I could pick up your units and then lied. You stole one of my titans, you fuck! No, please, Kiwi, this assault needs to work! I love the leg. Kiwi, my units! The great Titan Heist! And then the game crashed. With a vibrant history stretching back to sites such as Planet CNC and other smaller fan hosted sites in the early days of the net, there have been over two decades of background work done to enable some truly amazing things. Among these are examples of pushing the engine to its very limit. Total conversion projects like Twisted Insurrection that not only replace units, but also the entire campaign. Other mods such as Dawn of the Tiberian Age attempt to recreate the earlier titles in the Tiberian Sun engine. And there are smaller mods like mini games and map packs and other minor edits. If you can think of it, someone has done it. Tib Sun was actually the first game I ever modded. I remember popping open that old rules INI file and changing values to stupid shit like giving riflemen railguns. It was honestly one of the things that got me into programming in the first place, and thus ultimately into the career I'm pursuing. I, uh, I really hope no one who's thinking of hiring me sees these videos. Unfortunately, it is a tragic fact that most of the mods made for this game have been lost to time forgotten files uploaded to now defunct or unmaintained websites. I remember playing one mod that had uh, units like super harvesters and uh, a suicide truck that exploded into like barrels that then became ion cannon blasts. I don't think I'll ever find that mod again. That's a strange feeling. So much has been accomplished that is now just forgotten. Not to sound all depressive or anything, but... That really gets to me. Rushed, buggy, unbalanced, and legendary. <laughs> Tiberian Sun holds a special place in so many hearts of grizzled old gits like me. Anything I say about the game is tinted by the fact that it was my childhood. While I can look back now at the title and see how truly and deeply flawed it was and still is, I still wholeheartedly recommend it. Its themes and approach to the setting have never truly been matched since. Cabal is one sick bastard. Even CNC 3's apocalyptic global situation doesn't have the same level of dread or uncertainty to it. Plus, there's no missions in our putting down riots. Thank you all for watching this monster of a video. It's been a long time coming, and by Kane, it was a long one to make. Next up is a completely different game. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Oh, stepped in some Steiner.